we're gonna do a really fun video today on how to DNA sex a parrot. And there's a few different ways you can do it. Some people can take a blood feather and send that in. We do not choose to do it that way. We are going to clip their nails because these are babies and their nails are very, very sharp. And so they need their nails clipped anyway. And then we're going to take a little sample card that we've ordered. And it's going to have the species of the bird. The bird's ID if it has a leg band. In this case, our baby centivals do not have leg bands for this clutch. And it has the owner of the bird. And then each sample card is gonna have its own ID number. So this is from Animal Genetics. And so as you can see, you just fill out the paperwork. Pretty easy. You can have someone a little bit more experienced do this for you, obviously. They send you a card. It has DNA sexing information on it. It's pretty interesting on how they determine with the blood sample if it's a boy or a girl with avian birds. So today we have three of our Senegal babies that we're going to send in. We also have a Sun Conyer baby. And then we have our Quaker parrot, Ducky, who has not been sexed yet. So, and Ducky needs his nails trimmed too, or her. So I thought this would be a fun video to do. I am not necessarily saying for you to go out and try to do this yourself. It's for an experienced avian caretaker. But a lot of people have asked me questions on what it looks like, how it's done. And so this is just good parrot avian education for anyone to know, even kids. I really strongly recommend, um, I try to promote my videos and information on my website for kids to do reports. And you can use that with your geography classes for Africa and South America and Australia, which many of these birds originally come from. So we are going to start with our babies. They're in a cute little basket. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Hi guys. They're so adorable. And we're gonna start with number one is gonna be our youngest. Come here, baby. Now I use gloves because the nails are really sharp. And so here's our first little baby. They're, you know, insecure, a little scared. This is gonna be their first nail trim. So I'm just gonna put them, I like to have this little square just to kind of work with. It, sometimes the nail will bleed. It's not going to hurt them. And it's gonna go right in this little circle right here. And then you let it dry, you pop it in, and you put it in an envelope to mail off. And typically the results will be back in about a week. Yeah, I know. So a lot of times people have to have two people for handling the birds. I can typically do it myself because I'm just very experienced with the birds. There's many different kinds of nail clippers to use. I, well, hi there, sweet sun conure. My little sun conure is perching up. I prefer to use just a regular nail clippers. So I'm gonna get the blood and put it on here. Can you see that okay? A little circle right there. So this is called restraining the bird so that they do not hurt themselves. And as you can see, the nails are so sharp that they are like sticking to my gloves. This is just how they're born. I know, baby. 
And they tend to go like this and grab both of their legs because they are feeling insecure. But I am really experienced at doing this, so I can do it pretty well. Sometimes I'll have Alyssa help with the legs if they're too wiggly. Do you wanna come over and you can hold his little foot? There we go. I'm gonna stick that one out. You got some claws, don't ya? These guys are almost five and a half weeks old. So I'm just gonna go gently a little bit up enough that I know some blood's gonna come out. And sometimes they don't bleed on me. And you can massage it a little bit. Oh, let's hold that one. And then put the, let's get the card. Can you put it that way? Yep. And so we're just going to dab just a little bit of blood. They don't need much to take a sample. Okay, you can put that down. Good job, baby. Good job. Yeah, was that scary? Huh? So now we're gonna put the little styptic powder. I'm just gonna dip his foot in there and it's, that stops any, this is just a little mild bleeding. So you just put the powder on his little nail and then you need to check it. And looks like we're good to go. You're gonna take your sample and let it dry for at least 30 minutes and put it back into its plastic envelope to mail into your envelope. Now these babies are being hand fed. And as you can see right now, his crop is empty. Once I feed him, it's going to look like a balloon, and that's where they store all of the hand feeding formula. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. He's just snuggle bugs in my hand. I know that wasn't very fun, was it? We don't like to get groomed very much. So I'm doing the nail trim when I know that they do not have a full crop of food or formula. Because of having to restrain him, I would not want to have to push on the crop when I'm doing the nails and have them accidentally aspirate or regurgitate, that would not be good. Another fun thing I wanna show you with this baby, can you see that? You could probably zoom in. Another thing I wanna show you with this baby is this little feather, this little white, it looks like a little candle wick right in there. You can see that right there. And that is super cool. That is like a, a preening gland. So when they are rubbing their beak on it or preening in there, it is releasing essential oils that they need for their feathers all throughout their body. So they are just created so amazingly that they have their own little preening gland. And when they start rubbing it, it protects the feathers. There's lots of other information on it that the scientists are thinking it is helpful with breeding and with vitamin D and absorbing in the sunshine. Lots of different beneficial things with the preening gland. So this is Ducky. This is my Quaker parrot. Yeah, you don't like these gloves. I totally get it. But I like to use them. It helps me to grab and restrain the bird better. Hi, baby. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Ducky says hi. Ducky says step up. So I'm going to see if he'll cooperate. Because we're going to find out if you're a boy or a girl. And he has really long legs. So we have to keep him um, as contained and calm as possible. Can you let go? Thank you. 
Look at that, you didn't even bleed. Seriously, child. There's some blood. That didn't hurt, did it? All right, can you get me the card, Alyssa? So I'm just gonna massage his little foot pad. <laughs> and it's kind of hard sometimes because they, they wanna clamp their feet up. So sometimes you have to experiment. There we go, let's put it right in the dot. Oh my gosh, bullseye. You're being such a good baby. So he, sometimes the blood flow, it takes a minute or so. Let's put some more on there. They don't, it doesn't take very much blood to send in because of how they read the blood to determine boy and girl. All right, good job. And then we're gonna put a little powder on you. Hold on, buddy. Let's get, see I have him restrained so that he cannot move and hurt himself. Okay, and then we just put the styptic powder right on his little toe toes. Are you gonna get lots of fun treats today and get spoiled? All right, good job. Now I'll go ahead and clip the rest of his nails, but I don't wanna stress him out. And so for this blood test, wow, now your feathers are all messed up. For this blood test, I'm just gonna do that one for right now. All right, baby. So as you can see with this little guy, he's comfortable, he doesn't like it, but he is comfortable. I'm restraining him. And I'm just gonna take his longest nail and see if it bleeds. Sometimes they don't bleed. This little guy's all right, you wanna get the card for me? So we just take this, yes, I know you're being such a good baby. Oh, let's go this way. And we just dab it. Oh, can you get it a little closer? And if you massage their little foot, it kinda of just gets a little teeny weensy more out. Okay. There you go, good baby. And then we're gonna use the styptic powder you are such a good baby. And just put the foot in there where we took the little trim off, just to make sure it's already, he didn't have much blood coming out. So I just wanna check it to make sure. Yeah. And he is hungry, he's ready to eat, but I didn't want him to have a full crop because as you can see, that would squeeze all his food out. All right, we're all done. Yay. Yeah, nail trimming is not the funnest, is it? No, it's not. And we'll find out if you're gonna be a boy or a girl.